This year's Ryder Cup was already shaping up to be a classic. Besides the thrill of watching some of the best golfers in the USA and Europe face each other on the golf course, the event was spiced up by a little bit of drama between the teams. This event even got very calm Rory McIlroy riled up. And the crazy part is that you won't believe the whole thing started with a hat. So, what exactly happened? We all remember what happened at the last Ryder Cup, which was held two years ago. Team Europe had lost woefully to the Americans and was forced to go back home with slumped shoulders. But this year, they got their payback, along with a 17-inch trophy. And it all started with the opening session that was held on Friday, the 29th of September, 2023. Both teams had arrived at Marco Simone, Italy, with high hopes of winning the trophy. Each team was made up of very impressive golf players, and everyone knew it would be an intense match. But nothing prepared the Americans for what happened. For the first time in Ryder Cup history, the Americans failed to win one of the eight matches on Friday. The Euros, led by Luke Donald, were absolutely amazing on the court. They were like a tornado, making every hit count. At the end of the day, the score was 6.5 to 1.5, with the Americans earning 1.5 points through three ties in four balls. The American team had really not seen it coming. U.S. Captain Zach Johnson couldn't say much after Friday's event. It was so embarrassing to not win at least one match. Nonetheless, the captain believed they'd figure it out and redeem themselves at the subsequent events. Saturday's event was not really much better. It started out with the Europeans extending their lead to seven points after dominating the foursome sessions by a combined seven to one record between the two days. But now it was time for the dramatic events to take a turn. And as mentioned earlier, it started with a hat. Patrick Cantley of the USA team was the only player not wearing a cap through the first two days of the Ryder Cup. When he was asked, he responded that the cap didn't fit. Nobody thought much of a hatless Patrick until Saturday morning. Jamie Weir, a Sky Sports journalist, had tweeted that Patrick's refusal to wear a cap had nothing to do with a cap being too small. Rather, it was a protest to the fact that they weren't getting paid to participate in the event. The journalist also mentioned that Patrick's stance had fractured the team, causing their performance to be affected. Patrick had vehemently denied the claim, saying it was baseless. However, let's quickly discuss the issue of players not gaining any compensation during the Ryder Cup. When the Ryder Cup came into existence in 1927, everyone was too thrilled by the fact that golf was getting its own official tournament to be concerned about payment. At the time, the honor of winning was just enough. Years went by and golfers became more concerned about the absence of payment. In 1999, players began to discuss the possibility of the event being boycotted. They said they were fed up with not being paid or even having a say in what happens to the profit made. So, after a few back and forths, the organizers, PGA America, decided that the players would receive money to donate to charities of their choice. That seemed to appease the players until the recent proclamation by James Weir. The Sky Sports journalist might not have been too certain about his claims, but it might have stemmed from the fact that there were rumors about this year's players grumbling about the lack of compensation, especially members of the USA team. And that's because the European players have long received a gift from their captain for participating in the event. So, despite Cantley denying the claims, when the European fans got wind of it, they quickly created a cheer to troll Cantley. Hats off for your bank account, and also began waving their hats at him at every turn. Initially, Cantley didn't even know what it meant and was playing along, but soon he heard their chants clearly and deciphered that they were teasing him. However, he didn't let that bother him and went ahead to make three straight birdies to win a four-ball match. It was an incredible comeback to give the Americans any semblance of life for Sunday singles as they now found themselves down ten and a half to five and a half. However, the win led to the big drama that ensued on the golf course. In response to Cantley holding a long-range birdie to win the point for his team, his fellow American players couldn't hide their joy as they celebrated around the green. They also chose that moment to respond to the taunts from European fans by waving their USA-branded baseball caps in the air. Cantley's caddy, Joe LaCava, was also not left out of the celebrations as he joyfully waved his own hat. But along the line, he stepped across the line of a European putt and obstructed McElroy's line of vision, along with not respecting McElroy, who still had a putt to tie the match. 
McElroy was very angry at the fact that LaCava was obstructing him and the overall disrespect, but he restrained himself and calmly told the American caddy to move aside. No one knows for sure if LaCava planned to infuriate the European or intended to disturb him. LaCava refused to move despite Rory's request. He stood there for a while, said something in return, and then continued to wave his hat. That particular response was quite ridiculous, and anyone would have gotten upset from such an action, especially at an event as important as the Ryder Cup. Rory, who was usually a happy-go-lucky, ditched his usual ways to blow hot at the American caddy. The two men began exchanging words, and what made it worse was that the European had missed the putt. Rory couldn't just let that go. After the day's event, Rory had gone to confront LaCava to tell him exactly how he felt about the incident. The little chat soon escalated to a whole deal where people had to intervene. Rory's teammate Shane Lowry had seen the whole thing escalate and immediately went in to intervene. He quickly ushered his teammate away from the clubhouse and into a car to prevent the whole thing from going from bad to worse. No one could really explain what had made Rory so mad. He usually wouldn't take up such things. However, notable golfers came up with different theories. The American professional golfer Paul Azinger, in his own bit about the incident, said that Rory had gotten very angry due to the pressure that came with the Ryder Cup. He knew that any single mistake could have them experiencing the shame they had experienced at the last Ryder Cup. A normal Rory McIlroy is going to say, get out of there, in a jokey way. But at the Ryder Cup, it's just so much more drama. Joe's out of line, but Rory is on the edge too. He also said that it might have come from all the frustration that had built up due to the whole deal with the PGA. McElroy has had an emotional year. The PGA Tour really turned their back on him. They negotiated behind his back while Rory was out there as a frontman. And when he got angry in the parking lot, I was saying, go get him, Rory. Let it all out, baby. Because he's got to have this built-in frustration. But to Sir Nick Faldo and Paul McGinley, Joe was wrong and it was completely normal for Rory to act like he did. Nonetheless, everything appeared to be resolved on Sunday, both on and off the golf course. Based on reports, LaCava reached out to Rory and the European team later on Saturday night to apologize for what he did. However, Rory remained angry and it took LaCava apologizing again on Sunday to calm him and also mentioned they never actually spoke. Although the USA team had performed better on Saturday and were riding the waves of that victory, they knew it would take a lot for them to defeat the Euro. Nonetheless, they had remained optimistic that they were about to end their 30-year drought on away soil. And at the beginning of the day, it seemed like they stood a chance. The European team had entered the day leading with a 10.5 to 5.5 and, and needed only 4 points to win the cup. But it took them so long to win the points. In the first two matches, the Europeans had been able to win 1.5 points in each. But the US team soon stole the show and won 5 points in the next 7 matches. This led to the Europeans searching for a half point point in one of the last three matches. Luckily enough, Fleetfoot had secured the points for them. The opportunity had come when his opponent Ricky Fowler had put his tee shot in the water on the par 4 16th, and Fleetwood had used the opportunity to drive the green. Although Fleetwood's eagle putt didn't get to the hole, it earned his team the much needed point. The European team couldn't be more pleased that they were able to redeem themselves after the awful loss at Whistling Straits two years before. As for Rory, he didn't have a minute to dwell on the incident that had happened the previous day. He was too engrossed in the team's celebrations. Now the U.S. team has to return to the drawing board to map out a way to reclaim victory at the next Ryder Cup. However, they'd have to wait for the next four years to get an opportunity to cop an away victory. We can't wait to see what the future holds. So, what do you think about the drama that occurred and the Ryder Cup as a whole? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. We'd like to see you in subsequent videos, so don't hesitate to hit the subscription button. Until next time!